Hey everyone, Avafli here with another tutorial. Today we're going to be going into um, how to easily add a bottom sheet to a Flutter application uh, and give it a modern, modern look too. So if you see here, there is this is a bottom sheet. So it comes up from the bottom and I'm going to give it a nice little curved look. So um, we're actually going to use the default Flutter app and then just route it to this button. Uh, so this would normally count this up, but uh, we're going to use this button to launch it. And to launch it up, comes up from the bottom nice and smooth. and uh, this is just a nice way to add uh, different dialogues to your app without using a modal or a new screen. So um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do. And we're just going to reuse the starter Flutter project to add this in. So I have a brand new Flutter project here. It's just the basic Flutter application where it counts up. Um, it comes with Flutter whenever you make a new project. So we're just going to reuse this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create our bottom sheet screen. So go over, just going to make a new Dart file here. I'm just going to call out bottom underscreen, underscore um, sheet dot dart. Awesome there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a stateless widget. There we go. Uh, I'm going to call it bottom sheet example. And then we're going to import material. Oops. There we go. Okay. So now what we want to do is we're going to keep this outer container we're going to actually give it a color so what we're going to do by giving it a color is when this pops up uh, see how there's this kind of gray we want to give that to the corner so we're actually going to have a container inside our main container but we're going to our outer container to be that gray color uh, so you can it'll look nice and blend in give it kind of that curved look so for that we're just going to make a color and then it's going to be zero x ff 757575, five, seven, five, just like that. And then for the child, we're just going to have another container right inside of there. And then now this is where we're actually going to do the curve kind of look in there. So to do that, first we're going to have a padding. And we're just going to do edge, edge insets.all. And we're going to give it 20. Then we'll do the border radius. Um, and for that, we needed it's the decoration property. So decoration, give it a box decoration. And inside of there, we're going to give it a color. And for this, we're just going to do colors.white. But this would be, this is just the color of the actual uh, bottom sheets, the background color you want. So you can make that whatever you want. Then we need our border radius. The border radius property in there. And then we're going to do border radius only. There we go. Dot only. And then inside of there, we're giving it the top left and top right because we only want the top. At the bottom, we want it just to be a normal square so it fills up that space. Top left. And for this, I'm doing radius dot circular. And I'm giving it 20. And then top right, and going to give it the same. There we go. I'll put a comma here, just format it to look nice. Awesome. And then now what we need to do is we actually need to add our child into this container. And this is where you're going to put your actual content. Let's put a child there, and I'm going to use a column. Uh, really, um, however you want to organize your content, this is just getting into normal Flutter development. So we're going to do a cross axis alignment and then we're going to stretch it. There we go. And that's just so it fills up the entire width for whatever we put. And then our, in our children, we're just going to, for now, we will come back to this and add some more in there. But right now we're just going to add a basic text and I'm just going to do, um, hello from bottom sheet. And I'll do a few other things. Um, I'll add a text align in the center there. And then um, we'll just leave that for now. We'll come back there and we'll make it look a little bit nicer in a bit. Um, so that's the basic bottom sheet for now. So basically, before we can run this, uh, we actually need to open it from the main dot dart. And you can open this from any button, any screen you want. So I'll just show it routing it to 
this little uh, this little button here. So if we go down here, you can see onPress is calling this uh, increment counter function. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to uh, make our own function here. So we can make a function like that. And then what we want to call is show modal bottom sheet. So this one right here. And the context is going to be our context. It's called context right now. And then for builder, um, we're going to do a function here. Pass context in. A little arrow function. Then we're going to do single child scroll view. Then inside of there, we're going to have a child, which is going to be a container. Let me get some formatting over here. And then inside of this container, what we want to do is have some padding. We're going to do edge and sets only. And then this is where we're going to do some fancy stuff. So uh, in here, we're going to do bottom. And then we're going to do media query dot of just our context view insets then dot bottom just like that and then we're going to have a child and that's actually going to be our bottom sheet example so if you type in bottom sheet example here we go and then that is actually uh make a new one there and then that's actually going to call this right here um so i do have a little bit of cleanup to do uh there's a few missed commas and such down here so uh, one other thing we need to do after a context here, we need to do is scroll controlled, and I'm going to make that true, just like that. Uh, put this on the next line, then let's see how we can clean this up right here. There we go. Yeah, so you just need to make sure everything's aligned. Uh, sometimes it can get a little uh, confusing, especially when you're copying stuff in Flutter, uh, if you miss one uh, parenthesis. But, um... Yeah, basically, so when we press that button, we're calling this function show modal bottom sheet, um, just putting some properties in for, for scrolling so you can actually scroll in that. Um, and you can actually scroll it to make it go down and such. Um, and then this as intents only with the media query is actually what's going to make it come up from the bottom. Uh, and that child, we're just putting our bottom sheet example. So we're just calling that and creating that widget right there. Um, so that is actually how you call it so here i'm actually going to run it here so i'll actually close my app all right so we're app is launched um you just see the normal flutter flutter uh demo kind of app here but we have rather this plus to launch our bottom sheet so let's see if that works so press it and then it says hello from bottom sheet yeah so it just gives us a nice look and puts our content in there um and then we can actually do that to scroll it down um, so that's kind of what the, the uh, scroll control lets us do. That right there. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to actually edit this to uh, close it from a button and put some more content in there. So we do have the main main kind of uh, skeleton for it. So now you could add whatever you want in there. But what we did actually gives it that curved look, gives it a nice look, and we'll uh, let it scroll up and down as you want. So um, and another thing I'll point out is if we open it up and we use the back button here, it'll actually go back just from there. So with Flutter, it just has a lot of nice functionality right out of the box uh, to make it look nice and be very uh, user-friendly. So now what we want to do is um, I'm actually going to make this text a little bit nicer. So we're going to add a style to it, just a text style. And uh, let's see, we'll do a um, font size of 30. Then we'll do a color. And we'll just do colors.blue since that's what the default app already uses. So we'll keep everything consistent. No reason to make it uh, look super nice for this. So after our text, uh, add a comment there. We're going to add a, uh, I'll just do a text field. That's what the original uh, app I showed you did. Uh, I'll show you how you can add um, text in there, like uh, user add items. So text field, we will do autofocus equals true. And what this will do is let the keyboard pop up as soon as that bottom sheet pops up. 
If you didn't want that, you could put this to false and it wouldn't. Text align, and we'll make that center. And we do need on change for this. Uh, we don't actually want it to do anything, so we'll just put new text. And then I'm just going to have an empty function for now. And then what we'll do is I'll actually just do a flat button here. And I actually want to show you how you can close it uh, from within, from code uh, within the um, bottom sheet. So there we go. So we'll do a child, uh, make it a text, and I'll have that be closed. And let's see, um, I do want to put a style in there, uh, text style, and there we'll have color, and then I'll put colors.white. There we go. So looking good so far, almost there. Now with the actual button color, we'll do colors.blue to keep consistent. And then finally, we can do our on press. And this is where it'll actually go back to the screen. So this is the same if you launched uh, another screen of Flutter. You're just going to do navigator.pop in their context. So real simple here. Uh, they make bottom sheet real easy. So I just want to show you how kind of easy it is to do this and make uh, a really nice kind of pop up in your app. So there we go. Now everything's good. So we'll actually go and we actually, I, I, I always forget that there's the uh, auto refresh on Flutter. So it should come up right now. So if we pop it up, yeah, look at that. So now we have our text, uh, type in our name here and close, we'll do this and close it. So like that, just like that. And just like that. So yeah, that's how to do it. That's how to make an easy, nice looking bottom sheet in Flutter. Um, and you can put whatever content you want in this. Uh, so feel free to be creative, and uh, I think it's a little powerful thing. It's very easy to add. It'll make your apps really look very modern and um, nice. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover, cover Flutter next, uh, UI, or um, really any tutorials. I'll probably be diving into UI a bit uh, the upcoming tutorials. So um, if you have any problems, also uh, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.